BioPA with 911 BioCare here today to talk to you about human growth hormones or HGH and also more importantly some HGH secretogs which are much safer and uh, in my opinion probably better to look at. Uh, what is HGH? HGH is human growth hormone. Um, it is really should be renamed uh, human repair hormone for anybody that's done growing. So that would be, you know, any male over the age of uh, 21 to 24 and most females uh, over the age of 18 to 21. Uh, when we're adults and we're not growing anymore, uh, your human growth hormone or, uh, or HGH is really there to repair. Uh, something has to repair all the damage that's done to all your cells on a daily basis. That's damage from from uh, working out, from environmental factors, from free radicals, uh, bad foods, bad water, all these things, uh, that has to be repaired on a cellular level. And your human growth hormone levels uh, keep you younger. Um, what happens as we age? Well, uh, beginning at age 30 and uh, every 10 years thereafter, your levels go down 14% every decade your, or of uh, HGH. Uh, so they decline with age. So you don't heal as well. You don't heal as fast. That's why. Um, what uh, type of things are we looking at? Well, human growth hormone is strictly regulated uh, by the uh, federal government under anti-doping laws primarily. And because of that reason, um, we don't really do uh, human growth hormone uh, unless it's absolute medical necessity uh, as defined, um, you know, by the federal government. So, and very few people are that sick uh, that they meet those requirements. However, there are a lot of us um, that have low growth hormone levels um, and we have some uh, growth hormone releasing proteins, uh, sermorelin is one of them, um, uh, GHRP6 and GHRP2 are the others. What are these? Uh, so growth hormone releasing hormone is a, uh, a 44 amino acid chain um, that tells the brain or the pituitary to release growth hormone. Um, the other medications that we have are parts of that chain. They're not the entire chain, but they are parts of it. For example, sermorelin is uh, 29 uh, amino acids long. And these uh, amino acids um, are enough to turn that signal on, to tell the body uh, it needs to produce more growth hormone. Um, it is much safer than giving growth hormone because uh, of a number of reasons. Number one, um, it's merely telling the body to stimulate its own uh, growth hormone levels. So it is um, uh, much more in check. It's much harder to um, stimulate the body to produce it to an unsafe level. Um, there's also the body has some check uh, mechanisms to uh, keep growth hormone releasing hormone in check uh, as an additional safety. Uh, also, the growth hormone releasing hormones um, are not um, considered a uh, big deal by the FDA as far as anti-doping laws and things like that. So even the federal government considers them to be much safer. Uh, the ne another name for these are secretogs. They're, they're called growth hormone uh, releasing hormones or growth hormone secretogs. Um, uh, and which is just a fancy name to say that they are um, kind of um, messengers to tell the system to secrete growth hormone. Um, so that's primarily it. Um, we tend to recommend uh, that uh, patients use a combination. So uh, the sermorelin uh, is one product, but it can be combined with the uh, G6 and the G2, and uh, to some extent, uh, they have some synergistic effects to, um, to be better or more efficient uh, in the body when they're combined. Um, so we hope you uh, got some good information about these uh, products and these informations. Um, please contact your anti-aging specialist um, if you 
uh, think that you might have it be a candidate for this. Uh, you can have your blood levels checked. Generally, the level that is followed um, is called IGF-1. Uh, IGF-1 is secreted by the liver um, in response to growth hormone. You can't really measure the growth hormone uh, itself because it exists in the body very short spans, 15 minutes, 40 minutes. Um, so uh, one of the markers of it uh, is IGF-1. Uh, so that's generally what's um, followed. Your healthcare provider can um, order those blood tests for you and see if, uh, if you're low. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us at uh, 911biocare.com. Thank you.